Okay, it's time to do a really quick check of your beneficiaries. This is something that's really easily overlooked, but I just wanna review some of the most common accounts where you need to set a beneficiary because this is what states who inherits the funds that are in these accounts. So here's just a common list. When you think of your IRA or Roth IRA, these are accounts where you actually list who the beneficiary is. And HSA, also known as a health savings account, your 401k or a 403b, so really any of your retirement accounts. And these are things that you actually set with your employer. And it's very common, if you've worked somewhere for 30 years, for example, you may have started working there right out of college. And so you didn't put anyone, maybe a parent or maybe a sibling, now you're married with children and you forgot to update these retirement accounts. So this is why this is just such a big thing to check because it's so easily missed. And then the last one here is life insurance. And again, this is one that when you set up these policies, you set them up again, it could be a 30 year term policy that you have, 20 year term policy. And so when you actually set these, you put beneficiaries on at that time, but again, we forget to go back and check them. What you're checking for is that you have a primary beneficiary. This means if something happens to you, this is the first person who will inherit these assets. And then just in case this person, the primary, predeceases you, now you need to have a contingent beneficiary. And this just means if this person's no longer living, then now the contingent beneficiary will inherit these assets. Whenever you're making these changes to these accounts to update beneficiaries if you haven't already, so as you're checking all of these types of accounts, you can just go down this list, but whenever you're making these changes, be sure to just print out a com confirmation or a summary so that you actually know you made a change and that's up to date and you're keeping a record of it. But ultimately, when you're checking these beneficiaries and you're making sure that they're how they should be, it's these people over here that you're really just making sure are inheriting the assets you want them to because these are the people that you love. So we're just caring for them in doing this quick check of who your beneficiaries are.